This video partially supports chapter 9 in my book, Fishing the Bucktail, and the book covers bucktailing a variety of species from boat, surf, and kayak. All right, this is late April on an eastern Long Island South Shore Bay. We're fishing about 15 feet of water over sand. Um, we're just getting started. I actually get a fish here on the first cast, and what I'm going to do is run through about 45 minutes of fishing and condense it down to roughly 14 minutes or so. Um, you're going to notice throughout this video, if you pay close attention, that a lot of the hits are going to come right near the bottom. Right here, I'm flipping the bale to let the line go back out, get it back down near the bottom, and then the hit comes very soon after that. And you know, as I've played through this video, I notice that just about all of the hookups come like this. These fish are very deep. All right, I'll go through the details as we go along. Let's watch some of the action first. Okay, I'm using a homemade white one ounce smiling bill style bucktail, a strip of number 240 Uncle Josh pork rind, 20 pound braid on the main line, a three foot liter of 50 pound test fluorocarbon. I'm not tying direct, but I'm using a tactical angler's clip to connect that leader to the bucktail, seven foot St. Croix rod, and a pen 440 SSG reel. I mentioned fishing 15 feet of water, but what I'm actually doing is I'm, I'm looking for ledges. I've got a ledge here where it drops from 10 to maybe 15 feet, and the bass happen to be on the, the deep side of this. And uh, as mentioned, you know, it's just really important that I stay low. And the neat thing about this trip is, you know, as you watch it, you know, there's no birds, there's no fish breaking, there's really no sign of life. Um, it looks like I'm out in the middle of no place and you know, there's no other boats around because the spots kind of off the beaten track It was a spot that I actually found by going up on Google Maps and looking at aerials and um, finding some good places with um, Some places with some good structure and then fishing a couple of them. And this was one of them that worked out I mentioned that this type of fishing is covered in the first half of chapter 9 in my book fishing the bucktail on my YouTube channel, I have a video that covers the second half of that chapter, and that is set on Long Island Sound, and um, it's similar to this kind of fishing, except it's over rocky structure. Um, the difference here is that in the bay, over a sand bottom, I don't have to worry about getting hung up on the bottom. Uh, in the sound, with all the rocks, I have to worry about getting snagged in the structure, but both techniques focus on structure, use really simple stuff, white bucktails, white pork rind, and both techniques um, is very productive. Okay, I'm done narrating. Um, enjoy the rest of the action. <laughs> 